Integrated circuits are used in all electronic equipment today and have revolutionized the world of electronics. Computers, mobile phones and other digital home appliances are now so common made possible only by the low cost of integrated circuits. So in this video we are going to learn more about these integrated circuits concentrating on the ones that can help us do more mini projects. ICs are broadly classified as analog and digital. And some very commonly used digital ICs are logic gates. I hope you know what logic gates are and in case you don't, let me give a brief overview. In this image, we see a 2 input OR gate. X and Y are the inputs, Z is the output. To its right, we see the truth table, which depicts the output you get for specified inputs. Here, 0 means 0 volts and 1 means 5 volts. So if you use this logic gate in a circuit and give 0 volts at x and 0 volts at y, you get 0 volts output. Uh, in another case, if you give 0 volts at x and 5 volts at y, you get 5 volts output. And so on for other cases in the truth table. Here is a diagram showing the truth tables for other logic gates. The NOT gate, NAND gate, NOR gate, AND gate and OR gate. The below image shows how the integrated circuit looks like. The above image shows the internal diagram which is also called the pin diagram of this integrated circuit. A very common question that people ask is, when I give two inputs as 0 and 0, how can I get a 5 volt output? Where is the energy coming from? The energy comes from pin number 14 which is connected to the power supply. Pin number 7 is connected to the ground. So when the logic gates have 0 volts input, it takes energy from the power supply to generate that 5 volt output. Here are the pin diagrams of other commonly used logic gates. 7447 is another important integrated circuit which is depicted by the block on the left. It has 4 inputs, capital A to D, and it has 7 outputs, small a to small g. What this IC does is that when it gets input in binary format, it gives the output in 7 segment format. When the input 0010 is given at terminals A to D, which depicts 2, you get an output such that 2 is displayed on the 7 segment display. Let us look into the analog integrated circuit. This is the 741 op amp which we have used in a few of our previous circuits. 741 is one of the most important analog integrated circuits which is used for amplification, used in oscillators and as comparators in many more applications. This is LM358 which you can use if you need two op amps in your circuit. And this is something which we have already used, the 7805. It is used to regulate higher voltages to 5 volts. And this is a list of other voltage regulators in the same series. Another very important integrated circuit is the triple phi timer which is shown on the left. On the right you can see its very complicated internal diagram. The triple phi timer has a variety of applications and is used to provide time delays as an oscillator and also in flip flops. Next, we are going to look at the modes of the triple phi timer. Mode number one, a stable mode. This mode is used to generate square waves of various frequencies and various duty cycles. Just by changing the value of R1, R2 and C, we can get a wide range of time periods and duty cycles. So that's the specialty of the triple phi timer. You don't have to understand what's going inside, but you can just vary the value of these external elements to get your required square wave. Using the same integrated circuit and by connecting the external components in a different way, you get the monostable mode. So whenever you give an input at pin number 2, you get an output pulse whose time period is decided by the values of R and C. So again by changing the values of R and C, you can get a wide range of pulse widths. And here is how you can generate the trigger signal. You can just use a resistor and switch. And whenever you click the switch, a trigger signal is sent to the triple phi timer. And additionally, as shown, you can also have a switch to reset the triple phi timer. That's it for now. I hope you learned a lot. See you soon.